Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, At What Point Did Lot, Lot Turn Sour? We see who's with Avram. He left Gorkastim, traveling with him. Seems like there's a real bond there. Something obviously went wrong. He couldn't be together with Avram anymore. He went to Sodom and things just went south. Rav Soloveitchik wants to say the turning point can be seen in the words. While he's traveling through Israel with Avram, it says, Ver ito Lot. Lot is going with him. According to Rav Soloveitchik, that's a strong connection, Ito. When he goes to Egypt and they have their time spent in Egypt and there's they run away from the famine in Israel, then they leave Egypt. Egypt it says, Ver imo. So one would think Emo with him is a stronger bond. The Rabbi wants to say not true. Ito is a stronger bond than Emo. And in the Rav thinking out loud, Ambration, Rav Holzer goes on and spends a few pages showing examples that Ito is a stronger bond than Emo. So that's an amazing grammatical point that one needs to look into through the Chumash and possibly through Tanakh to see. But let's take the Rav's point for a moment regarding his trip down to Egypt. The Rav said that when Lot went down to Egypt, as much as he loved and respected Avram, he was just overwhelmed by the Egyptian culture. They were the most powerful people in the world. And it was dazzling down there. And something struck Lot. Rav said 50 years ago when he gave over the shear, he said it's similar to Jews in America. Broadway, dazzled by it, something that was just so enticing that many Orthodox Jews were pulled into that world of the Gashmir, the materialism. And the city of Manhattan never sleeps. So that's what happened to him. He went to Egypt and physically he left. It's true he left with Avram, but he no longer went Ito, he went Emo. And then unfortunately, from that point on, there was tension with him and Avram and the shepherds. And when he left, he chose a town where spirituality was not the essence of it. Far from it, he went to stone. So it's not a few, but there's a few great points here. Number one, the idea of Ito and Emo is something to look into. Not everyone agrees with this understanding. Rav Holzer brings some interesting proofs to the Rav's approach. That's number one from a grammatical standpoint. Number two, is that we have to be so careful. You go to a culture and you think you're just going to visit or you're living there, but you're not going to be taken in by it. We must be so careful. Lot was with one of the greatest people that ever lived. And still, he saw something over there and all of a sudden he looked at his uncle as a nice shepherd, nice man, but he's not, he's not with the program. He's not really living life as it should be. And if that can affect Lot, who is so close to Avam, certainly can affect all of us, the culture that we live in. Shalom.